Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brick Workshop. Now, it was a long time ago that I built the original caster carriage, which my playing machine lived on so it could be moved around the workshop. It evolved when I got the, uh, the Jet JPT 260 planing machine, because it had to be a little bit uh, tougher and stronger. And now it's evolved again, because I've got a, a big birthday coming up, and uh, the powers that be have said, um, yes, you can... Uh, get a new planing machine and so uh, that's all organized and I'll tell you about it once uh, once I've taken delivery but in preparation for that I'm adjusting my caster carriage for the planing machine so the new machine will fit on it and I'm going to take you through the adjustments that I've made now the new planing machine should be the same width as the old one but a little bit deeper this way so I've added this piece of wood on the front and I mentioned that actually in one of my workshop notes videos. And that this piece of wood, it's actually two pieces of wood, is uh, glued and screwed onto the original wood that was just here. And you can see the four screws there. I did have a little whoopsie here. The, the screw that was going in there broke, so I moved a new screw hole over, put a new screw in, and I've just put a, a, a plug there to hide that uh, little mistake. Now, this is the way it would be when you lift the planing machine into position. In fact, I'm gonna walk it on, you know, bit by bit by bit, like so. Um, and so therefore, there's no impediment for its journey going this way. But once it's in position, I have this piece, which will fit in like so. And this will act as the retainer uh, for the machine. Now, I've been quite uh, generous and cut this fairly large uh, because I'm not exactly sure how big the machine is this way. But that should be enough. And this then just screws down into place. Screwed into place like so. And that will stop the machine coming away. This also serves to reinforce uh, this front arrangement making it just a little bit tougher. Uh, and th that now is really strong. Uh, it will easily take the weight of any planing machine I could ever dream of owning. Now, these are the original casters that I got from Colding all those years ago. Uh, they're as good as new, and I'm certainly not going to change them. I'll put the part number on the screen now, and these are still available on the Colding website. Now, because my new planing machine will be a lot heavier than the old one, I want to have a separate method of keeping the whole thing static on the floor. So this is what I've done. I've created uh, these pads which can be forced down onto the floor which will then stop the whole carriage from moving. There's uh, a pair of pads at this end and a pair of pads at that end. And the way I went about it is as follows. I set in each end a pair of eight millimeter threaded inserts. And I've got some eight millimeter threaded knobs. And these actually came, you may recognize them. If you buy a headboard, this is the sort of thing that would be used to attach a headboard to a bed. And I've got four of these. And these then screw in from uh, the, the top side, the side that you can see. This is upside down, of course, at the moment. And they screw in like so. And there you can see it starting to stick out. It'd be silly to have these poking down into the floor in order to keep the thing static. Uh, it would ruin the floor after a very short period of time. So what I've done is I've created uh, these pads and these are constructed of two pieces of wood. The pad itself and then the joining piece. The joining piece has a hole which is clearance for the eight millimeter thread. So it's about eight and a half millimeters uh, in diameter. The pad uh, has uh, no hole through it, but I've inset a washer into there and you may just be able to see it now in there. You can just see it. And that washer allows the pointed end uh, of the threaded bolt, which is there, uh, to uh, rest against there, and that will stop that wearing through the pad in time. So they fit in like so. 
And that would seem to be quite a reasonable thing. If I were to turn this upside down, uh, then that could drop away. And trying to get that back in the right place would be rather tricky. So my belt and braces mechanism now is to allow this to move up and down, but not from side to side. And so I just screw those in like so. They don't have to be in very far. So if this comes adrift from there, um, it's, it's not going to uh, cause a problem. And I can continue screwing or unscrewing those knobs from above uh, without worrying whether this is going to uh, become dislodged in any way. Uh, the key thing is, is to make sure the heads of these screws uh, don't touch the floor ordinarily when the casters are in use uh, and uh, that there's sufficient slack here so that this can rise up as those threaded knobs are being used to uh, tighten this down onto the floor. Well, all of that may have sound complicated, but here are the tops of those uh, threaded um, knobs and they're well away from where I'm expecting the planing machine to go. And if I now start screwing these down, you'll soon see at the moment this can move around quite happily. I'll screw these down. And, and now the casters are actually having no effect and that is just sliding on, on the bench top. Now, I do want to improve the friction between those pads and the floor. So this is what I'm going to do. So I've cut some squares of some, I think it's 80 grit uh, sandpaper, and I'm going to stick these on these pads. And I'm just going to use ordinary uh, PVA glue to do that. And I think this will be sufficient in order to keep these bits of sandpaper in place and at the same time it should stop the whole thing from moving on the floor of the workshop. Now if you ever go and get a coffee at one of these places, um, if I end up not using the stirring stick I bring it back with me and uh, I can use that to spread glue. It works quite well. I'm just going to stick those on. Now I don't want these to lift off whilst the glue is drying, so I'm going to just flip this over. Just making sure they haven't slid off. Seem to be okay. And I'll just use the weight of the carriage now to make sure that that uh, bond is good. And I'm just going to leave that to dry. And the friction between those pads and the bench top here is absolutely terrific. Look, you see, I, th I think once it's on the floor with the new machine on, uh, that's not going to go anywhere. Yet those casters now are not playing a serious part in things. Now, as always, the plans for the modified caster carriage are available free of charge. But in order for me to get them to you, I need your email address. Now, YouTube have changed the way they do things. You can no longer send a private message through YouTube. But if you attach a comment to this video with your email address, then that should go into a spam folder. Nobody but you and me will be able to see it. I'll then react to it, send you the plans to that email address, and then I will delete your comments so that nobody could possibly see your email address at a later date. Were we to do that the other way around, and I put my email address for the whole world to see, then I'd be inundated with email. I already get about 100 emails a day. So uh, it just would not work. So that's the scheme of things. And my plans are completely free of charge. Many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. <music>